Hello everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to customize the check style configuration to better suit your project's needs. In a previous video we have seen how to use the check style plugin in IntelliJ. The plugins come with two configurations, the Sun checks and the Google checks. And the default configuration comes with numerous checks, some of which may not hold significant value for your specific project. So let's see with an example. If we run the check here, you will see that missing Java doc and it tells us this one must be private. This is good suggestion. So let's we change this to private and we generate the getter and setter. Let's rearrange the code. So when we run the check now, as you see, this one is private and it is complaining that this private field has no doc. Usually only public fields or methods should be documented. So how we can change this behavior? First, you need to create your customized configuration. You, you have to create an XML file that can be loaded in the plugin. You load it from the check style homepage or you can get it from the jar file loaded using Maven. So I have already prepared this one check here and now we want to change this behavior. It should not complain when no documentation for private fields is available. So how we can do that? There is one module in the configuration named Java doc variable so this module accepts one property let me show you so you can define one properties here and as you see you can fix the scope to public so only public fields should have a documentation we save the change and in the plugin we can create new one and i have it here on my local machine checks out this one next next finish okay so we can remove this one and make it active apply and now let's see you need to specify the configuration here let now let's run and as you see now it disappears so it means we were able to change the default configuration for private fields now the second things that are annoying is check styles require a documentation for this setter and getter usually you don't need to do that in your project so this is also as you see here it is also possible to customize this behavior so we can go to the configuration there is one parameter or module name it this there is one missing java doc method and this module you can let remove this one you can add this property, allow missing property Java docs and set to true. It means that for properties fields, it is not required to provide a documentation. So let's save and re-import the configuration file like this. I will remove this one and create it again. Let's call it test. And now check style here open next next finish apply we can even make it as active one the default one now when we go to person let's see if this will disappear as you see it works as well so if you add another method public method void hello salt hello so it will complain as you see here we can run so other public methods are required to be documented let's remove this the second one that is a bit annoying is name hides a field so but there is two things for final parameter for example this one it is true uh, it could be even a bug so this one should be a final but in my opinion it doesn't add a, a value for you it makes the code difficult to read so normally you should write final and if we run now it disappears but this it doesn't bring much value in your project so you can disable it as well so how to do that look for this module final parameters 
and or you can restrict the check to constructor only. So if you use this, the final check will be done only on constructors. So let's save and see now. We do the same in sitting. We remove this one and create it again. Next, next, finish, apply. Okay, so now we go again to this class and see if this will work. And as you see, is no more complaining. So it is not required that you add the final keywords here. However, we have another small issues. As you see here, name hides fields. No, normally, you should choose another name here, and but this is not bringing any value to the project as you, uh, because you are using this name. And if you remove this, you will spot that this is not, that something is wrong. So how to disable this as well? another module hidden field so there is one option you can do here is to ignore setter so this check will not affect setter so the value is set to true let's see now we will do the same we remove this one and create it again test browse this is our file next finish apply and check so now let's go to the person class and run the test again and as you see it is now clean so you can focus only on important things so this was the way how to customize the configuration i hope you find it helpful thanks for watching and bye